<sighs> what's up dream team so excuse the background and the crustiness but got a little story time ish type video for you guys so as the title somewhat says why i stopped being a parent during medical school and the title is a little misleading because i did not stop being a parent but what i did was i stopped sharing with people that i was a parent um i found it to be very helpful to me to only share that information to people that I really built a connection with um because certain things I'm not gonna say people use things against you but they may look at you differently um some of the experiences that, that I've had personally in medical school work anything when you're around people where you are the outlier and me being a parent um has been the outlier in most of my educational settings is that you're put into a box of what you can and you can't do you may not be able to study with these people because they assume that you can't study at this hour they assume that you can't meet at this place you may not be able to participate in this fun event because they assume that you may not have a babysitter you may not have this you may not have that and it takes you out of the game before you even get a chance to kind of say you wanted to play if you get what i'm saying um and I never want to be in a position where I miss out on opportunities because people assume what my limitations are. Um, so I had to kind of stop making that declaration when I meet people. And me, I'm open. Like, I like to share my journey, my, you know, who I am with people when I meet them. If I feel like, you know, we, we, we are at a level where we are comfortable with each other. I don't mind sharing that. But I got to the point where I didn't want to be judged. Um... And I didn't want to be put in a category where, again, I'm limited. And then also things that I know is that once you tell people that you have a child or you have children, they automatically put you in a category. And what I found that whenever I get to the point where I tell somebody I'm a parent, specifically I'm talking, I'll talk about medical school. Whenever I have told someone I was a parent in medical school, after that it was like a slew of, well, if there's ever a scenario with a kid, well, Chantrice, what do you think? Or, you know, and, and I'm like, I don't, don't ask me what I think. <laughs> I'm here to learn. Don't ask me what my experience is. I'm here to learn. I don't want to use my parenting, my experiences with health and my child as a guide for anyone else because everybody's different. And right now I need to learn what the textbook version of what's going to happen i need you to teach me i need to learn from you because you're the expert i don't want to be the oh yeah you have a kid so when your kid had the flu no we're not going to do that we're not going to do that first i'm not getting paid to tell you about my experience i'm paying you to teach me so it it gets very uncomfortable with oh well Shantrice, how do you feel about this abortion rights or how do you feel about um childhood vaccines and don't don't put me on the spot for one because I may not be comfortable with discussing my children in an educational setting. And those are the experiences that I've had. I've had experiences where I've been put on the spot about something related to children. Or, oh, Chantrice, you, you, you should know this because you have a child. Don't do that to a person. Do not do that to a person. And it like I said, it became very uncomfortable for me in certain settings when people would do that. And so I decided going forward for my sanity and for my educational um, learning purposes, I will no longer be telling people that I have a ch have a child or children. I did find that when I got to a level of rapport with people and I felt very comfortable with people, specifically my attendings, um, specifically my attendings, it just would come out and be like, wow, okay, okay. And um, it was not, I, I didn't feel at that point that it would be something that would be held over my head. So again, I did, I only spoke about it with people who I was very comfortable with. Um, I had an incident where I I had to come to school, I had to come to campus or something like that, one of our offsite locations, to turn in a book or something, and I had to bring my two year old with me. And again, I had never shared that I had children with anybody on this particular rotation. And so when they saw me with her, it's like their eyes were like, "Oh my God, like is this your kid?" I'm like, "Yeah, she's my kid." Um, and then you know they didn't say anything to me. At that point, you know, it was all jokes and giggles and stuff like that. And I don't know if they said anything when I left. But um, I never, I don't like being uncomfortable. And I don't want to be uncomfortable when it comes to the fact that I'm a parent. Um, the fact that I'm a non-traditional student. So, for those reasons, when I, 
at some point in medical school, I decided to no longer share that information. Um, and I encourage anyone in medical school, in a work environment, in whatever environment, share what you share, share information about your personal life that you are comfortable with and you can live with other people knowing. It is no one's right to know all of your business. No one's. And if you're not comfortable with talking about it, if you live in an apartment or a house, if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, if you have children or don't have children, you know, what your feelings on politics or healthcare laws are, don't share them. Be comfortable. And yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But yeah, that was my story time and the reason why I no longer tell people that I, um, I'm a parent. And I don't assume that ever, anyone ever watches my videos that I know. So it's like, hey, you know, I really don't assume that. Um, and if you know me, then you know me. Like, of course, the people in my previous class knew had a kid because I came into school with a kid. And the class I joined after that, I had a kid during, you know, our school year and they threw me a baby shower. So they knew. But going forward, a lot of the people, um, because I ended up coming on the tail end of another class, they didn't know me, you know. So, um, yeah. But that's my experience. I'm sharing it with you because that's what I do. I just share, you know, the stuff that happens to me. But, um, again, I'm Dream with Shan. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I love the support. I love the interactions. I love all that great stuff. Um, like this video. Share this video with anyone who needs to know that it ain't their business. It ain't their business. <laughs> um, yeah, but I appreciate, again, everyone for watching the video support um and i'll see you guys another time